right, welcome everyone. Kind of a rough day here. Uh, second video today on the markets here. And we'll just start off, um, first off by saying, these days kind of suck, right? So I'm gonna look into what caused it or kind of reiterate what I think caused it. Uh, I'll link the morning video that I made today kind of showing really where I think a lot of these causes came from. Um, we'll check out some of the altcoins that were hardest hit. And by the way, altcoins took the biggest hit here uh, by far. And that could be something that we see in the future. Uh, we do have some positive news though. So some airdrop news as well. And crypto, let's be honest guys, it's not going anywhere. So don't worry. Um, don't worry overall. If you got an altcoin project that's not a good project, well, maybe you should worry. But uh, that's, that's, a, uh, that's a decision you guys have to make. And you really need to be thoroughly checking and investigating your projects to make sure that you are getting decent projects because when things like this happen, they get hit the hardest and sometimes great projects get to take big hits too. So just cause it takes a big hit doesn't mean it's a bad project, but, um, each project's its own thing here. So while well, I got you guys, if you don't mind hitting that like button down below that big thumbs up button, it helps out the channel quite a bit. If you enjoy the video and if you want more content like this, I do live streams every day or I try to anyway. Um, also do just new streams, uh, or news videos outside of live streams. Altcoin, I, I guess we'll call it altcoin alpha live streams, airdrop live streams, meme videos, all sorts of things. So if you want that kind of content, hit the subscribe button. I cannot speak tonight. I don't know what's going on. It's like the third time I've eaten my own words. Anyway, you guys want to hear about Bitcoin. So let's get into that. So we've got a Bitcoin price of 66 K right now down to about 65 K. Um, got some feedback here going on not sure what that is let me fix that real quick got her so down to 65k but we're at 66k and we're heading back down to 65k right now um this comes from coin telegraph they really just cover it i mean you can just see this this drop here this is this is a pretty incredible drop i'm not sure if this is an hourly chart um or what this is but but that's pretty dramatic and and it was a pretty big drop so uh, they mentioned a bunch of leverage here, so we're going to look at some leverage in a second. But we also had all of the stock markets, uh, a bunch of uh, major stocks, a lot of things dropped today. So what happened is a, a convergence of a lot of events, right? Well, first off, let's, let's go to something that's coming up. Tax season is coming up. So we got taxes due. Uh, that's never fun. And people tend to sell their assets for cash or whatever. Maybe they owe some money or something. I don't know. Um, but, but the tax deadline here is, I think, uh, I think it's the 15th. I can't remember. It's, it's very soon. It's uh, next week, I believe. So we got that, right? Okay. Whatever. Uh, we had banks come in today, major banks come in today saying they are under target for their revenue, which is not good, which is indicative of perhaps the feds interest rates finally affecting large companies, not just small companies. So what happens there is small companies, it, it, the fed makes money more expensive to get basically to borrow. So these smaller companies who need that money for their liquidity and whatever, uh, they feel it first. They don't have any cash on hand. They don't have cash hidden away, stashed away. Get your Apples, your, your JP Morgan, your um, Microsoft's, whoever it is. These companies have a ton of money. Interest rates really don't affect them that much for a really, really long time because they can rely on their own secret little stashes of cash, right? And I'm simplifying this immensely. Well, now we see banks getting hit, right? So is that the interest rates? Maybe. Um, but the whole market took that as a bad sign. And this week we all said CPI come out. So everybody's probably got that fresh on their mind where interest or not interest, uh, inflation rates were just a little bit higher. Not even that much. Like what 0.1 is what we came up a 0.1% uh, above where we were supposed to be. So I, it was not, not a huge deal, but it, inflation is still sticking around and, and increased a little bit month over month. So that pushed back in theory is pushing back the fed to maybe late summer maybe july for the first interest rate cut which everybody wants the market needs but they can't do it if they're going to increase inflation so the theory is to increase interest rates bring down inflation right well they've increased interest rates they're strangling businesses out they're suffocating businesses and inflation's growing so i don't know what's going to happen here it's it'll be interesting um really what the the fed watches though isn't cpi it's the cpe uh 
price index and that comes out i think in two weeks uh april 26 or something like that so we'll see what happens around then they're they're they could pivot now that we see some companies struggling um you know if they keep these interest rates as high or they raise them we're going to get a, a hard landing if we can maybe lower them we get that soft landing and we can continue on with our our merry ways of investing in the stock market and all that and having great returns we'll see what happens so all these things are kind of coming together right um then you get the banks reporting and the markets just kind of kind of go to trash you also got the war over in the middle east going on you got the war in ukraine so people are worried just just a ton of stuff going on right just a perfect storm of flooding nothing in particular about bitcoin we've got the halving coming up we got a lot of good news uh the hash rates are at an, uh, near all-time high um miners are doing great i mean crypto wise nothing's wrong so uh, it's just a really volatile market. It's a small market when um, it's a very speculative market. When these other markets take a hit, people need or feel the need to put their money in something safe. So they move to the big, you know, big boys, Microsoft, Apple, um, Tesla, whoever it is, the Magnificent Seven, right? Or gold, other assets like that, or Bitcoin. And in fact, that's probably why Bitcoin fared the best today because it's the safest of all cryptocurrencies, right? So um let's see here um just reading chat here ah getting some middle east talk so talking about gold right apparently costco's got some gold you guys own costco stock um okay sure uh but point is, is is gold is starting to sell again which usually means the markets are probably gonna dip a little bit doesn't have to but it sometimes does um i found this i posted this earlier this morning this is from kraken um i don't know if we're in it's over or it's so over right now um but this is the cycle and this isn't per cycle this is just always right so um you know we'll be down here and then we'll, we'll be back up so so bear with it just know that there is good coming here no matter where you're at in the market so liquidations right let's look at those because i've been babbling for a bit and you guys probably want to see some actual real data and all that good stuff right so 24 hour liquidations or wrecked is 920 million that's that's significant that's pretty good longs took it the hardest of course 823 million so a lot of these were smaller altcoins than we have shown here i um in theory anyway i i don't know which which they are but what matters to me bitcoin and ethereum right um man ethereum that's a lot of longs so bitcoin too uh, bitcoin had more shorts than long so people are probably just getting more speculative on bitcoin here and, and putting in their leverage trades a little more often which is pretty common um, but we're looking at 175 176 almost million total liquidation for bitcoin 134 of those were longs so let's look at the heat map real quick on this so 24 hour we do have some shorts up here at about 71 700 we're a little ways from that right now so i don't think we're gonna go visit that anytime soon although with bitcoin anything's possible uh well, we don't have markets open tomorrow so kind of free to do whatever we want okay so just a bunch above us and and yeah we did take out some below us there i'm, I'm blocking that sorry guys um we took out a little bit below us here not not a ton though i mean i've seen i've seen a lot more i'll go to the um we'll do the one month here real quick and then we'll just move on check out some prices so we we do have a a scattering i guess we call this of longs below us but they're they're throughout all the way down to the 60k range really is when they start to lighten up and that is as you guys can see and if you've watched my videos before I got an ad up. I need to just sign into my paid one here. This is where the leverage stops basically at 60K. So people like these round numbers, right? Psychological stuff, 60K, 61K, um, but particularly 60K, 50K, whatever, 100K. That's where sellers and buyers are going to be right around that area. So no, no surprise to me that we've got uh, a bit in that area going on for the longs. Um, and the shorts and all that good stuff anyway um i i wouldn't be surprised if we come down here and we touch this at some point i mean we're, we're kind of wicking that way we could just v right out of this though i'm gonna be honest anything could happen right here um we'll see we'll see 
So we're sitting at 66, almost 400 right now. So a bit better than when I started the video. It was almost down to 6,500 or, or maybe even dipping into 6,500. It, it was pretty low there for a minute. I mean, we hit 65,780 on this. So it would probably dipped under 6,000, 66,000. I think I said 6,500. I meant 65,000. So anyway, 66,400, not too bad. Um, yeah, th this is this is kind of rough. Let me show you guys. Uh, let's go to let's go to total three. Uh, actually, let's do total two. So the yeah, we'll do total three actually. So here we have the crypto market cap minus Ethereum and Bitcoin, and we've been on a pretty good run, right? This does have stable coins in it. But look at that hit we just took there. That's pretty big, right? I'm going to get the percentage on this just to show you guys. This this is going to be happening until, as mentioned earlier, that's 16%. This is going to be happening until the Fed oops, decides to raise interest rates, I think. And uh, if you guys are curious about this or want to know some more, um, Oh gosh, I'm on the wrong track here. That's fine. Uh, Benjamin Cowan talks a lot about this. I think once the Fed, and I agree with him, once the Fed starts to decrease interest rates, we're going to see risk on assets like altcoins in particular be a little more appetizing for people. There's just not a lot of money to go around to put into these altcoins right now. And with fears of the market coming down, people just aren't really jumping in. So I think that's why we're seeing this right here. Look at, first off, look at all that red. Um, poof. Hey, Tether's green. <laughs> it's a joke. So look at this. Uh, wow. This is our 24% loss. Core, 32%. Conflux, 27%. Whiff, 26%. That's meme coin. Uh, Wormhole's down 26%. DYDX is down. Arweave is down. Celestia is down 22%. $8 Celestia. That's insane. Wow. Wow. You guys probably know what I'm going to say next, uh, but it's it's gonna I'm going to say it with uh, a little bit of caution. There's some really good prices here on altcoins, um, and we're going to come back and talk to this about this in a second. Um, you know, we'll talk about it right now. So I am going to continue investing in Bitcoin. I'm going to look at the 60k range to 50k range for the most part for myself to start buying back in. Uh, under 50k, absolutely buying we'll see it'll be a mixed bag in between there so um i'm looking at bitcoin bitcoin is probably going to be the safest bet for anybody here so if you're looking to get in the market or you want to move your altcoins somewhere but you don't want to put them in cash or you stable coins i i personally i would move them to bitcoin that'd be my move if if you want to be a little more risky ethereum of course kind of a blue chip right number two Altcoins could be on the menu, but I would say DCA. Uh, this 30% today could be 30% again tomorrow. Could be 15% the day after that. So you just got to be careful. Um, I do think these are all going to pass their most recent highs. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But you're going to suffer probably potentially a little bit in the meantime. Um, if you go in with that mindset and you're surprised to the upside, then that's great. And you're DCAing in, right? So you didn't miss out on the opportunity, but you also didn't expose yourself fully to, to that big of a loss. So that's my strategy. I actually, I bought a little bit just a minute ago before the video started, guys. That's actually why I was a little bit late. Wanted to make a couple purchases. They weren't big. They weren't big by any means. I'm just starting to do a little DCA here on these, these really red days. Uh, I don't know what you want to call that, selective DCAing or something like that. Um, but a couple, I, uh, actually picked up some saga. We'll see how that does. And then, uh, one of my favorites osmosis. I just kind of picked up a couple coins I like, I love, and I think our, uh, osmosis for sure is a great project. I think saga is going to be fantastic as well. Um, so you guys know, I hold those now. I usually don't talk about what I hold, but, uh, just being honest with you guys, I did make a couple purchases and I, I did it expecting to potentially lose some money on them and that's okay. I mean, that's what you do, right? Uh, in the short term, in the long term, I think it's going to pay off and the prices were right so uh, i did not do everything i could i'm holding off because what if we get another dip in the next few days so 
Um, I don't know. I mean, this is I, I haven't seen a day like this for a long time. Probably um, early bear market days, I'd say. Maybe FTX or, or Terra Luna uh, in the bear market. Uh, I mean, look at look at this Cardano under fifty cents. This is uh, Adam under nine dollars. Woo! This is nuts. I mean, there there are some honestly. There's some really wow. Uniswap at seven bucks. There are some great buys in here. Uh, and I don't know how much further these can go down, but this is kind of normal for this time in the bull market too. Uh, having time, I mean. So uh, this is only the top 100. If we went outside of this, th there would be some huge, huge probably losses. Um, in fact, let's while we're here, let's look. Why not, right? It's Friday night. I'm live streaming. What else are we gonna do? Um, oh, look at that. Does he wanna? Does he wanna show me the top gainers? That's how bad this is. <laughs> oh man. It'll, it'll get better, guys. Trust me. Um, you might be... Altcoins are, are going to get hit when this happens, though, in this kind of market. It's just the way it is. So be prepared for that if you are holding altcoins. Um, let's go... Uh, let, let's do top 500 first. Okay, so we got some we got some movers here. Oh, wow, Pups. Why does... Pups is always on the move. Even Brett's up. <laughs> Base meme coins, right? Uh, Myro, yeah, so 30 percent here. Um, it's just a hit everywhere, it's 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 a bloodbath, there's blood everywhere. Uh, I know it doesn't feel good, guys, but this this is crypto. So, um, if you don't take and, and this is not financial advice, but if you don't take opportunities of these bad days, it's really really hard to celebrate the good days. Um, I mean, you can still celebrate them, but. You can't celebrate them like everyone else is when they're making huge gains because they've bought at these low prices. So um, that's something you guys need to think about for yourselves and decide for yourselves if you want to do it. But uh, these are often some of the best uh, days to buy. But this could just be a drop, a small drop and a bigger drop. That's that's the danger, right? And that's why I DCA. So, oof, man. We got some absolute, oh boy, some 90s, 70s, 60s. Ooh, so baby RWA. Some meme coins really took it today, um, but but maybe they're good buys for you guys. I don't know. You have to de determine that yourself. D Y O R, right? Okay, so uh, that's the market. It's not that great. That's actually pretty pretty damn rough. Uh, <laughs> what were the top gainers here, real quick again? Uh, Do we have any Felix? I can't remember Felix is actually a meme. I think it is. Um, how, how is it that memes, memes escape the damn crypto bloodbath that happens? Whatever. <laughs> Congrats if you guys made money today. You, you are the outlier and you should brag about it. Okay. So what might we, might, where are we at? What, what might we have in the future, right? Um, this is the positive news part of the, uh, the live stream. We'll call it that anyway. Um, so Benjamin Cowan, one of my favorites on YouTube. I know I mentioned him earlier. If you guys don't follow Benjamin Cowan, you should. He's going to give it to you real. You might think he's a little negative, but he's just going to be honest uh, with his opinion, of course. And he'll tell you he's been wrong before. So this is new followers to various crypto accounts on Twitter. Look at that. I'm on here. I'm just kidding. I'm not. Um, we're only, and I'm going to say, what is that, about 24K? which matches up to somewhere over here or over here, I'd say. However, coming into this bull market, if you guys can follow my mouse here, we're pretty, we're pretty damn low. So if you were to do it like percentage gain, we're much higher over here. So I don't know, we'd probably have to be in the, maybe pushing 50 K to, to reach where we're at here, I think. So honestly, I don't think we're at this part of the cycle right here. I think we're more over here or over here where we're going to dip down and then come out of it in a few months or, or a month or two or, or maybe i'm wrong and we just shoot up to the top today to, or tomorrow right it doesn't seem that way but um we're gonna hit the having that's coming up that's gonna be big news i uh, you know <sighs> jury's out on that right i don't i don't know what the having's gonna do immediately maybe we rally into it and, or maybe we maybe we dip into it and rally out of it i don't, I don't know uh it might be priced in already is what I'm kind of getting at, but it might not be. However, we are not anywhere near these peaks, right? So we are, 
we are still pretty cool. We're, we're getting a little warmer, and I bet I bet we uh, come down a bit after this. But we're getting a little bit warmer here, but we are not hot like this. So we've got more to come for this bull run based on this metric, right? That's what I think. All right, this one, this one is, this one could be positive. It depends on your outlook. I, I probably should have put this one earlier, but that's okay. So this is the um, total three. Uh, and this is basically all uh, Bitcoin pairs here. And at this cross right here, this intersection, Ben argues that the alts broke down, right? And then we went to an all time low here. So what happens then? Well, Bitcoin blasts up. And as Bitcoin did, it dragged everything up too. So the valuation ended up going down here. This is kind of a uh, altcoin season. It wasn't really altcoin season, but alts did really well in this area in 2021. And they did all right afterwards too. Kept climbing, right? So are we in the same spot here? He, he argues yes. So if we, if total three here drops, Bitcoin may shoot up or Bitcoin is just doing better than everything else. Um, it's hard to say. Um, it's, it's taken liquidity from the market in one way or another though. So uh, if you're in Bitcoin, you're probably feeling good by seeing this chart. If this happens, your Bitcoin's doing decent. Your alts, not so much. They can both go up together too, by the way. This, this is not price related. This is just BTC valuation essentially. So um, one more from Ben, I thought, there it is. Click the wrong one there. And this is US, uh, US. Yeah. This is Bitcoin dominance. So we are about to hit 56% and that's the highest since April, 2021, as you can see over here, not too bad, right? Um, but again, with this comes usually pain in the altcoin market. So as we dropped here, Bitcoin dominance dropping means that Ethereum stable coins, all the other altcoins are taking bigger chunks of the market, meaning they're getting their market caps are increasing. So their prices are going up. Uh, Bitcoins could have been going up too, but theirs were increasing faster than Bitcoins. So right here was a pretty big drop. And that's kind of like an altcoin season to me right here. And that was 2021, early 2021. That was a good time to be in crypto. Um, a couple bad times followed. However, um, we had our, our crypto winner and since oh, 2022, I believe it was, yeah, September of 2022, we've been on the rise with Bitcoin dominance. I, I think Ben says 56% was his target or a, a target he thinks we'd reach. It looks like we might go a little bit past that. We may have wicked past it. We'll see right here. Uh, we'll see what the future brings too. Like I said, if, if, uh, if we don't get interest rate cuts, altcoins are gonna potentially be hurting. Anything can happen, but I think they could be potentially hurting and that would push Bitcoin dominance up as well. So um, let's look at ETFs real quick. Um, and, and by the way, this does not mean Bitcoin is going to be dropping in price. Bitcoin could be going through the roof in price and just crushing altcoins because everybody wants a piece of Bitcoin. So if you are Bitcoin holders and everybody should, in my opinion, not financial advice, should hold some Bitcoin in the portfolio, a large chunk, as whether it's 25%, 50%, whatever, it's going to help you out in the long run. And it, it's it's the best bet. It may not be the riskiest or, or, or best gamble or, or however you want to look at that. You might not get 30x on Bitcoin, but you're going to get a return on Bitcoin or, or historically you have anyway. I shouldn't say you're going to. Um, least volatile, strongest, biggest by market cap. So it, it should be a cornerstone in most profiles if you were to ask me. Okay, so going back to Bitcoin here, I didn't really want to cover the ETFs. They're kind of boring, right? They're they're fun to watch, but um, I do have a, a I didn't bring up a story because I don't want to read it, but uh, about another ETF. But look at this grayscale on the top here, coming down, selling. They sold a bunch today again, by the way. Spoiler, and then BlackRock is shooting up. So look at that. What are we? Uh, Thirty, forty thousand away. So this this cross or at least touching here is going to happen pretty soon where great um, BlackRock is going to overtake Grayscale potentially. Uh, I, I'd bet in the next four weeks or so we see this cross, uh, which would probably, I'll, I'll say by the end of April. Well, it's halfway through. I'll say mid-May. So there is another e Bitcoin ETF coming out too, and it is from China or Hong Kong. 
and supposedly it sounds like anyway from what i've been hearing retail and institutional buyers can get into that so this could potentially change what we're seeing right now in the market too i don't know that it would affect bitcoin dominance or anything like that bitcoin would probably potentially anyway uh, gain more out of this than anyone else but um, you know another reason to have bitcoin as one of your your main uh cornerstones in your portfolio right so what else is going on coinbase Oh, and by the way, I haven't sold anything. Uh, whether that was a good move or not, I don't know. I stake most of my stuff, so I have a lot of Cosmos coins. Uh, I know I could do other things with them, but it's easy for me, and it, I like to secure the network and, and kind of provide, uh, participate in all that kind of stuff. So Coinbase seeks to take court question to the uh, and U.S. SEC case to higher court. So what is that question? Let's just get to the good stuff, huh? So they are trying to, where is it? Uh, whether a digital asset transaction that poses no obligation to the original issuer of the asset should be considered an investment contract that would be regulated by the SEC. So I believe that's part of the Howey test saying that, hey, there's no contract here. How is this a security? Um, that's, uh, that could change a lot of things coming up. So um, we'll see what happens there. Good to see that they're not going down without a fight, right? They're not even in their court case yet, and they're still trying to to get around the SEC and, and take blows at them here. So thank you, Coinbase, for being proactive. And I know they're looking out for their own good, but I think they're looking out for all of crypto uh, inadvertently as well. And hopefully that helps Uniswap too. I mean, if something goes well there, Uniswap's going to be looking really good. Uh, check this out. So if you guys thought crypto was hurting today, you weren't wrong. But look at this on Bitcoin again. Another reason why you should probably hold Bitcoin in your portfolios if you don't. I know a lot of people don't, and I, I don't agree with it. But you guys run your own portfolios, right? So, uh, <laughs> Michael Saylor actually posted this. This comes from Bitcoin News, but Saylor posted it. Um, look at these returns here. Since August 2020, uh, Bitcoin 463 percent, the S&P 552 percent, Nasdaq 47 percent, gold 16 percent, silver negative one, bonds negative 21 since 2020. So four years ago, well, three and a half years ago, almost four years ago, actually. Um, yeah, you guys are in the right market, if I had to say so, if I had to guess. But if you're not holding Bitcoin, you're probably not. Well, you could be seeing more gains in this, I guess, but you're probably not seeing these kind of gains. So this is why Bitcoin is so important at times like this. You don't have to think you just Bitcoin, you just sit on it. You don't have to worry about it dropping 90% or whatever. It, it's not going to happen anymore. Probably not going to happen anymore. Um, we're altcoins. Everybody's trying to figure out what to do right now, right? Do I buy more? Do I buy less? I'm, just buy Bitcoin. Buy it when it's cheap. It's easy to predict. Um, you can DCA in it, all crypto winner. Um, anyway, you guys get the point, right? So I love altcoins. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I still have to and choose to and like to hold a lot of Bitcoin uh, as well as at least as a percentage of my portfolio. So Neutron here, uh, I haven't talked about Neutron a lot lately, but I did see that there's some news in Cosmos and it looks like they are pumping some money into their community um, through uh, their program here. So pretty big news there. And I saw, I didn't pull it up, I was gonna, and I totally actually forgot. I saw a lot of talk about meme coins popping up on Neutron, Osmosis, and some other ones. So look for Cosmos based, and Neutron is Cosmos based. Look for Cosmos based meme season coming up soon. Um, I know everybody's worried about the red, right? And being down 30% in the profile or losing 10K in an hour, which doesn't feel great. Um, trust me, I know. Um, but we're going to be okay through this eventually. Uh, we're going to get through it eventually. So memes are going to be back and you do need to be ahead of the game for what's coming up. Right. So don't, don't just turn crypto off if you need to do it, but keep research keep finding things, keep looking for the next trend and be ready to buy when, when the time is right. So, um, you know, that being said, I still, who knows what's going to happen, but when we see the interest rate cuts, I think the time's going to be right. So Hava Airdrop, <laughs> this one was, um, is interesting. Uh, first off, I'll, I'll just read you the story. So now, it's not really a story, but you can trade it. If you have Hava, you can go into Osmosis through, and if you don't, can't find it right just by typing Hava, I couldn't either, but you can go to osmosis.zone, uh, launch the app, 
go in there and trade your Hava coin for Osmo. And it is on Osmosis blockchain, by the way. It's actually on Osmosis. So you may have to come here and actually click this link. And this is airdrops underscore one. So just follow their profile. Um, you click it, you just go there and you can trade. It's pretty easy. Um, I looked at the price and yesterday Hava was, oh, or, or the day before, I can't remember. It, it was um, zero, 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 which is five zeros, a decimal, by the way, zero, 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 um, two, I think. Anyway, I looked today and it is now six zeros after that decimal place. So that's a pretty big hit on Hava. So your three digit or two digit even, but your three digit airdrops are now probably worth two digit digit hmm. and your two digits are probably worth one digit at this point so pretty big hit there we'll see what happens but you know the whole market got hit i don't think they're rugged or anything like that it's just i don't know that they could have had worse timing for their airdrop right so i just said screw it and threw mine into staking i don't care it was free money that whatever maybe it turns into a penny or less i, I don't care um, we'll see what happens there. They mentioned being eligible for future airdrops too, if you did stake it. So anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on Hava. I don't know much about them. I'm not some Hava fanboy or anything, but it is fun to follow because they have been such a, uh, a noisemaker in the community lately. Uh, what I do like, and I don't have any of these yet, but I'm think I'm, I'm thinking about getting one. Uh, they're expensive. They're really expensive. They were more expensive yesterday, and I pulled out a couple of videos. I actually just put one out about two hours ago now on Mad Scientists. So Mad Scientists are an NFT collection that's minting on April 16th, which is just announced. I, I would bet that these are going to be an airdrop uh, qualifier. Even Airdrops 1 is saying, kind of teasing it here. Nobody knows right now. Uh, but, but this is one of like the most viral, most, uh, well executed ad campaigns I've seen for NFTs on Cosmos or really anywhere. Uh, and the, the team seems really good too. So what you had to do was throw a bunch of osmosis in a stream swap. You get lab tokens, whatever, however much you put in, and then you can trade now lab tokens on osmosis. And for 10 lab tokens on April 16th, you can mint one mad scientist, but each lab token is. Uh, 87 bucks. So you're looking at, I think it's actually 84 right now, but you're looking at about 800 to 900 bucks per NFT, which is pretty damn expensive to start with. I would imagine you're going to get pretty decent airdrops off these. Um, I don't know. I'm curious if you guys are buying any though. So, um, close are all looking at those in just a second, uh, from chat there. So we'll, we'll see on, on mad scientists I, I i might get one i don't know i don't know we'll see if you get two of these by the way which is almost two grand you can stake them and you get some sort of reward i don't know what that reward is but maybe a future nft or something i have no idea so anyway that's going on uh, of course stargaze here uh the sloss i i saw a ridiculous solar eclipse meme so i just decided i'd post it i've, I've talked about stargaze too quite a bit they are going to be hosting a marketplace for the mad scientists nfts once they're minted and they did these these were minted there as celestian and sloss and they're they're an airdrop qualifier amongst other things bad kids bit kids all that good stuff so check out stars at some point and if you guys want to follow mad scientists they're mad scientists underscore x and i am not affiliated with mad scientists or stargaze or anything like that so um there's a question ave and compound i um uh, actually let's look up DeFi llama real quick uh, oh, that's a that's a pretty. That's not a huge drop. It's probably about a six percent drop. Oops, I went the wrong way there. Uh, we're gonna need to go in a little closer, aren't we? Yeah, it's not too bad. We'll see where we go from here. Um, I think DeFi DeFi will be fine. It'll be this TVL is gonna drop a little bit. Um, let's just do Ave in general. Yeah, their TVL is actually holding pretty good. I don't think, you know, there'll probably be a little bump to the downside for these and, and their coin. I think activity-wise, these are probably still going to be pretty active. Um, these dips are usually pretty short-lived, but they sting quite a bit. Um, so token-wise, let's see what the market cap did here. 
token price wise you might see you might see a drop if this is gonna load did I just break DeFi Llama? It's not a live stream unless I break something. Truly. Um, let's see how they let's see how they did. I guarantee you they're in the red, right? Oh yeah. 20% down. Um, these guys, Ave and Compound are old. They're they're OGs. They're not going anywhere. They're oh, I've seen a lot worse charts today than this, even. Um, and I don't know if you mean DeFi as in the SEC is coming after them or what uh, th this would be a little harder to a different case to come after than Uniswap or Coinbase um, but a victory in Uniswap or Coinbase would be beneficial to anybody in DeFi because the SEC's kind of declared war on DeFi by going after Uniswap now they are the biggest out there so um, yeah I think, I think the lending, I think, I think yield, I, I think all this should be fine. Um, we've got, so think about it too. You've got Ondo, you've got um, a lot of RWA, uh, real world assets coming in, right? You got BlackRock coming in and maybe they want the SEC to fight these guys or whatever. But um, a lot of those real world assets are bringing in treasuries and other ways to, to lend money to some uh, gold finch or whatever it is, is, is lending. So to real world companies. So I, I don't, think these guys are quite under attack but they're not out of it um i don't i'm not sure that these two are on the sec's radar if that's what you mean so um yeah i, I think they're gonna be fine though so um i did not get a chance to check gary network by the way i did a couple videos and i had to work all day unfortunately as you guys can see i'm still in this uh lovely hotel room two more nights in beautiful Kentucky. Uh, let's look up um, Rune. Was it Rune? Is this the Rune right here? The small one? I thought they were bigger. For those of you guys watching after this is live, we're uh, chatting with the, uh, talking with the uh, live chat here. Um, let me see here. I don't know. You guys probably can't see what I'm typing. Just give me one sec. Give me your chart. These are for the, uh, isn't ruin the inscriptions? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Okay. They're bringing out the new. Oh, you guys can't read this. Sorry. I forgot to move it up. Uh, ordinal. Okay. The guy who developed ordinals. That's right. All right. I haven't followed a lot of the ordinal stuff. I kind of am. Kind of not. Um, oh, look at that. Nice ad. Um, it's interesting. Uh, the whole Bitcoin ecosystem layer two stuff is really BRC 20. All that's pretty interesting. And I, I, I think people are sleeping on that, to be honest, um, especially with the SEC coming after, probably coming after Ethereum now. Uh, maybe, maybe, I, I'm, who knows what they're doing. Um, they're not coming after Bitcoin. That's for sure. So, well, nothing's for sure with those guys, but, uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin ecosystem stuff might be pretty, pretty booming this, this coming bull run. Once we actually hit the bull run, um, you have to read about these. Uh, but I, I would imagine that just because they're related to Bitcoin layer two stuff, BRC 20, uh, the ordinals, all that, uh, inscriptions, they're probably going to pump eventually. So no, it's not a coin. I see it's it's on here. They're probably gonna, but they're gonna have stuff on here, right? So, um, whatever's built on these will probably start moving. That's my guess. Um, we're seeing it right now with pups and all the ordinals and all that stuff. So, it's kind of my guess. I'm gonna look more into this though, because I am curious. I, I've not done my due diligence on this rune protocol stuff. So, um, what was that other one I saw on there? Avax. Oh, you know what, man. Um, I do think AVAX will break its all time high. It's a matter of when, right? 10 years, five years, five months, 
five weeks. What was their all-time high? Avalanche is a... They've been doing so much lately. Um, they're, kind of, they're almost reminding me of, like, the Cosmos uh, theme, I guess. Internet of Blockchains type theme. Uh, where are we at here? 146. Mm -hmm. eh, 150. You're close enough. So... Uh, replying to chat there. Yeah, I, I didn't. I just clicked on Rune because I was checking that out. Um, I do. I do think. I do think Avalanche is probably going to beat its all-time high there. Uh, what are the unlocks like on Avalanche? I'll have to look into that. Let's let's look real quick. I can pull that up. Launches those launch after halvings. Nice. Or the having. I don't know why I said halvings. Um, is Avax fully? I probably could have just looked right there. I'm just multitasking and did not. I'm um, not logged in. That's nice. All right, Avax. Sixty percent unlocked. Okay, so probably no. Uh, I'm not signed in. Let's get signed in. Uh, I'll do it later. You know what? I could probably see it at. Um, right here, right? Let's check out their, uh, let's check out their, uh, DeFi anyway. One billion? Okay. It's not bad. Although I think DeFi Llama might still be broken from me. Sure doesn't look like it, it's enjoying me. So maybe we won't. Maybe we won't be checking out their TVL. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, 60% unlocked. That's not too bad. Where are we sitting over here? Yeah, that looks about right. That looks about right. Uh, so no major unlocks come in. Um, I don't know if you guys follow their Twitter. If you guys don't have Twitter or X, whatever the hell it's called now, uh, a lot of news comes out on here. So whatever you're looking for, project wise you can find on here there are a ton of fake projects though so be careful and <laughs> triple check before you click on some airdrop claim or something like that right they're usually fake <clears throat> usually so just just browsing through here uh, you can see how active they are which is a good sign but doesn't mean anything but you will see that they are building partnerships and uh, putting money into their community um, launchpad programs whatever you want to call them pretty often uh, they got a great Dex out there too, Trader Joe. They've got multiple. I mean, you can use Uniswap, of course. Um, I had thought I had seen their DeFi. I can't find it now. Um, maybe it was somebody else who had posted. But uh, yeah, they've, they've been putting a ton of money into DeFi to try and expand their DeFi uh, kind of setup too. So they've got games. Uh, is, I think Beam's on. Isn't Beam on Avalanche? I can't. I'm pretty sure it is. So they've, they've got a lot going for them, and I think they're only going to get bigger. Um, yeah, they, they're pretty scalable. So I, I think it's going to be a, a pretty, um, I can't find them, a pretty easy feat to get back up to 150. It's just it, it win, you know, maybe next year, end of this year. Yeah. Uh, in May, probably not. In, in June, July, probably not. Uh, end of the year, I would say altcoins could get really interesting. I'll say the last third of the year, September and on, for sure. That's my that's my guess. We could get if we get interest rates lowered in June or July, maybe. Um, in fact, let me let me pull up the Fed the Fed Watch tool. Uh, this can kind of give you guys a. Let me drag it up here so you can see it. There we go. Is that working? Yeah, that's working. So. Uh, 18 days till the next meeting, by the way, in case anybody's curious. So let's go to probabilities here, and then I'll zoom in for you guys. Uh, so look at that. You guys all see that? Yeah. So let's see. May doesn't look too good. Looks like we're staying at uh, five and a half. June still probabilities are five and a half. Uh, a little bit higher to go down to five and a quarter. So we get a 25 uh, basis point cut here. Uh, oh man, July. 
50-50 in July. A little higher on the cutting side here, um, favoring 25 basis points down, so so down to uh, five and a quarter. September, not much to happen in August. Um, I, don't, I guess there's not a meeting in August. September though, we're starting to look a little more interesting. Like the the probability of cuts are much higher. But you know what? A few months ago, these these rate cuts were getting priced in for, or, or probabilities were showing June and May, uh, March even at one point. So they didn't happen. So these are just probabilities. Remember that. But once we get a cut, I think you're going to see. I mean, it might be a little bit of a delay in in the reaction, but I think you're going to see money come back into the market and certainly short term if you see a cut that day is probably going to pump next week might pump even um, but these these are important macro factors to watch and this this is a i i don't know what's going to happen the, this is a weird situation where inflation's increasing but we also now have uh stock market uh, big stock market companies i stock market i should just say big uh, institutional companies big banks starting to feel some pain here so um, and maybe that was a fluke and maybe maybe not we'll, we'll see what happens but uh, it's an interesting time for sure. So, um, yeah, I'm not seeing you guys got anything else there in chat. I'm going to try and get this TV. Oh, TVL and market cap. Oh, just TVL. Bummer. I thought I hit market cap T. That was, I guess the other one. So TVL is still way down from their all time low. So once they get back moving, um, you know, you're probably going to see an all time high and that, that I would say, I don't know, maybe, um, Maybe with the layer twos, they're getting, they're struggling a little bit, but but they're still picking back up here. And once we get in a bull market, I think Avalanche is, is going to take off. Uh, I don't know if it'll double or anything. It's all time high, but I do think it's going to, I think it's going to move for sure. I'd, I'd really have to dive more into Avalanche. Uh, I do like the project though. And it doesn't even really matter if they hit their all time high, right? It just matters where you invest at now and how high they go from here. So, um, oh, oh, Velodrome. Yeah, so those are those are interesting. Um, whoops, I usually type on a big keyboard, and now I'm typing on a little tiny uh, laptop. Kind of a pain. Um, I I like Aero, Aero Drum. Uh, I don't know if you use. They're very similar products, right? They're both kind of like a DeFi package, AMM liquidity provider. Uh, let me clean up some of my, I've got a bunch of tabs here. I'm trying to get to you guys. All right. So let's see if I can get this loaded here. Uh, oops, I don't want to connect. I thought I can enter without connecting. I could on Aerodrome. Let's look at their chart real quick. So liquidity and swap, there we go. So pretty, very, very simple, right? Like um, obviously for, uh, arp or almost said arbitrum, for optimism, um, both of the OP stack layer twos, uh, optimism and uh, Coinbase, uh, Velodrome for optimism and uh, Aerodrome for base of course i think i said coinbase earlier it's actually base i'm just looking at their tokens here i haven't actually browsed these for a while oh zoomer i got some nice meme coins here you know i haven't seen any of the meme coins on on optimism go go wild lately or at all really so um super easy to use though liquidity i believe is the same are you paid out in the uh i think you're paid out in the uh, uh velo token right when you provide been a minute that's the way aerodrome works though so you can provide liquidity you can swap you can do all the good stuff here that you could do at most uh, you know finance whatever DeFi sites amms dexes have whatever you want to call them um they're i believe they're the biggest on uh each let's look real quick you know no i think aerodrome is the biggest on um, base, we'll pull base up right now. I mean, you know, Uniswap's probably going to beat them, but for um, 
chain specific. So pretty good there. Um, yeah, they, they actually, that's, that's just a, a decent correction for these guys that they're barely hurting. I mean, this is, this is a really good chart to be honest. This is probably one of the best you can have for today. So these guys, these guys are pretty strong. Um, I haven't looked into their unlocks or anything, but, um, did I bring base up already? I did. Well, I did it again. Okay, let's go down here. Who's got the biggest? Okay, they are number two, actually. They're above Ave on Optimism, huh? Synthetics is number one. But for single chain, Velodrome for quite a ways. Until you get down to a polynomial protocol, and they're only 6.37 million. So they're, they're pretty much the big dogs here on Optimism um, as far as roots nowhere else. Uh, not too bad at all. I think they're going to do pretty well, to be honest. Just just really easy to use smooth products aerodrome number one beating uniswap not surprised i guess let's check them out real quick let's compare the two see what we see okay oof i told you i like aerodrome but base is popping right oh, optimism might come next I, I mean this isn't bad by any means this is this is decent for tbl here um, coming into April, we we did start moving in 2024. Is way over here on this chart. Base is a little, uh, aerodrome's a little different here, where they're not as old. So back to 2023, and then just skyrocketing. So, you know what I could do is just kind of do this for you. Oops. Uh, let's go. We'll say something like this, right? We'll just do that. So not a whole, actually that's a little unfair. Let's go a little further. Not a whole lot of climbing here, but we are getting more TVL locked in, but but pretty consistent. So um, if I had to pick one right now, it'd probably be Aerodrome. Kind of got more momentum, but you know, Velodrome's pretty good too. I, that, it's a tough choice. Let's look at Aerodrome real quick because I didn't pull their chart up. That rank can't be right. Yeah, they're not that small. I'm sure Quan Gecko would show something else. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, they, yeah. Just looking at that uh, runes, that could be the next meta. I would say for maybe Bitcoin, it's the next meta for sure. Um, there's a bunch. I, real world assets. I, I think that's underrated. Man, that is a. That is a chart. Look at that. Look at look at that, coming out. Aerodrome. It surprises me every day. I I thought about investing in it probably uh, it was probably in February. No, it could have been February. It had to be March because they're already making some waves. I didn't. I I should have and I did. I just I I've got too many coins. I don't want to. I've got a few on my and I didn't want to add any more. It's too much to watch. I, I try to keep it small. You get too many, you, you can't keep up with everything. Um, this is this is a really good chart. So yeah. Um, I agree, Ape Holder. Um, base base is booming right now. Base meme coins. I put out a few base. I put out a va base video and just a quick one. I, I try to keep them kind of. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I can't can't think of the word. I try not to be too fancy or gimmick here or anything. I just make it like we're having a conversation about crypto or whatever. So I made it one anyway about base meme coins and base network too. Uh, just real quick, down and dirty, kind of investigating it. And there's a lot of good stuff on base. Um, for let's look at base swap. I wasn't gonna stay on this late tonight, but here we are. Why not? Um, the base token, which in itself is it's kind of a. Uh, wasn't a bad idea to name your token base, I'll tell you that much. So, pretty big drop there after the launch. We don't need to look at that part of it. Uh, what are they up? Wow, that is a, that's an increase, huh? Almost 5,000% in a month. <laughs> uh, base is, let's, I still got this up. Let's check base out real quick. Uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, let's go back to base. And where is swap based? Where's base swap? Or swap based? There it is. So, wow, look at that. Their their TVL is pretty low, actually. 
4.37 million and they are just sitting here uh, killing it. I don't know if that market cap certainly is not correct. Let's see if we can get a market cap on. Um, oh, you know what? These guys actually did uh, swap, swap blast too. So they have two. Uh, TVL is actually dropping but coming back up. I didn't realize their TVL is that high back in uh, last year. Uh, they have... What's their market cap fully? Uh, is that... That can't be right. There's no way they're 216,000. There's no way. All right, we're doing this. We're going to CoinGecko. You guys have forced me. You forced my hand. Base. Uh, oh boy, why aren't you showing up? Am I blind? Am I missing it? There it is. Okay, so 232. That sounds a little better to me. Oh, no, this is ranked by... Dang it, this is ranked by exchanges. Um, they're not really tracking them over here. Okay. I don't believe that they're that low. Uh, whatever. I mean, let's let's put the market cap over this. This market cap is just going to shoot up probably. If it shows. Which it looks like it's not going to. Oh, well. How about token price? Yeah. I mean, that's that's actually following fairly well. So... I thought we were going to see something outrageous, but that's actually pretty, pretty okay. Um, looks like their TVL is not based on their market cap or their token price either too much. So I think we'd see a lot bigger jumps if it was. So that that's good. Um, but yeah, base base stuff is great. Um, I really do think Velodrome is going to do do well too. Uh, I would not overlook them. I just think Aerodrome right now has most of the uh, most of the attention. Um, RWA is well while we're here. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Why not, right? Everything's on sale. Let's look at it. Ondo, for example. Um, and I did make it, I, I don't, uh, I think it was a week or two ago. I looked at some real, RWA's real world asset, by the way. Some RWA chains. I looked at Ondo, Goldfinch, um, Mantra. Uh, what else? I can't even remember. BlackRock's getting into the game now with a Buildle. Buildle? Um, fund, which is basically, I think, treasuries. Um, and that's what Ondo does here. Let's get off that. So Ondo actually has several tokens. They've got... Um, sorry, I'm closing some windows here, guys. Ondo's got um, a money market token. They've got a U.S. treasuries bond, I think, token. And I want to say they've got a stable coin OS, OSDY or something. I can't I can't remember what it is, but they've got a few tokens, a few offerings. Um, two of those are only available to institutional kind of checked, um, not checked, uh, like KYC institutional customers who are. Uh, I guess you have to be regulated to get those or something. So you have to have certain qualifications to get them. And then I guess we can. I think it's OSDY. Let's look at. Was it OSDY? No. Uh, I can't remember what it is. It doesn't really matter. But then there's another token that we could buy, for example. And then, of course, there's Ondo. You can buy the Ondo token, which is the governance token, right? So this is the one that's really going to uh, shoot up like an altcoin would. And look at that chart. That is... This is what RWAs are doing right now, and people really aren't talking about them. But you've got BlackRock bringing millions of dollars in literally bringing money into Ethereum through USDC and putting yield uh, uh, bonds on there, treasury yield bonds or whatever the hell they're called on there. And uh, it's not really getting that much attention. I don't know why. Uh, who was the other one? We had um, OM, which is Mantra. So this is, I like this one because it's a Cosmos chain. I, if you guys don't know, I really like Cosmos stuff. Um, uh, Mantra, there's actually an airdrop coming. Mantra's out, but there's going to be an airdrop coming. Uh, coincidentally, if you hold Bad Kids, Bit Kids, or probably Celestian Sloth Society, you can get this airdrop to you. Also, like Atom and other stuff, the Atom token. That's a pretty good month. To, oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. That's a, um, 
so this this is what's going on and it's not I, I don't know how this isn't making bigger news so um, it's pretty crazy look at that drop this drop is nothing for those guys this drop is a correction that they needed it's probably gonna shoot them back up and we could see all these shoot back up by the way you could see some short-term gains in the next day two days three days market opens well on Monday these things blast up if you guys are short-term traders I don't know um, I don't do that kind of stuff and just doesn't interest me but uh, you know I, I still try to cover it so uh, what was the other one goldfinch I think GFI right yep GFI so look at GFI the old goldfinch um, pendle pendles kind of eh, pendles not really pendle separates your it's kind of like yield separation or staking separation like you can put whatever you're, you're we'll just say staking whatever you're staking and then you can separate your stake and rewards like liquid stake it I don't know how you would even say that you liquid stake your future staking rewards so it's like a preemptive look I, I don't know it's, it's a it's an interesting concept um, I don't know if they really count as real world assets but they've been moving pretty good too oh yeah man that's that's pretty good so Goldfinch, is, I think I mentioned earlier, kind of this is the one where you can actually lend. They're kind of, oh, kind of like an Aave or Compound, kind of. Uh, you can put your money in here and lend it out to real world businesses, like who, you're, whatever, whoever goes to their website can can borrow if they meet the criteria, right? They had a couple people default, three I think now, and no effect on their tokens. So. Um, I don't know. I think these real world asset chains are going to be really popular. Well, everyone's joking at him, laughing. Oh, you would never put a house on a token, right? Well, you might actually, but you're missing the point. I mean, you can tokenize uh, treasury bonds and all that stuff and trade it day and night and move it really easy. So really quickly. And if it's KYC regulated, whatever, like Mantra is, or and I, I can't think of the other one right now. Um, that that chain, That's a game changer. You can move things around real fast, right? So uh, I could probably find it in categories, and I see I see Pharaoh there, Michael. I'll look at it in a second. Um, I think they're just listed. For w. I cannot think of the one. There it is. There's a, there's one I'm missing. A Chainlink, of course, is is very involved with this. Any any uh, Oracle is going to be Oracles are just a good play in general. Every every damn chain out there needs an Oracle, just about. Especially DeFi, especially Ava, Maker, Compound, all those. Um, Ondo. Gosh, where? Oh, it's Polymesh, I think. Yep, it was. Let's see what Polymesh is doing. So the PolyX token, not to be confused with Polymer, which is an interoperability uh, project coming out soon, which I can't personally wait for. So Polymesh hasn't moved a ton. They did what are they down from their all-time high 41 percent uh that's might be a good entry point here for some of these not to say that it's not going to get lower be careful dca right if you so choose so yeah these are going to do great um uh, i think i don't know what we're gonna um you know there's parcel too you can there's speculative <laughs> speculative real estate gambling essentially um uh, in a way so um, that's what parcel is so it's interesting is this the pharaoh you're talking about fer token for this thing new uh, it's not that new 870 i don't think i've seen this let's look at their website real quick let's see what the heck these guys are um, oh, okay. So it's like, like curve or something. Is it stablecoin swap? Oh, it's Kronos. Okay. Let's see. I, I haven't heard of these guys. I'll have to look at these off video. Can I can I see them on Defi Llama? Yeah, look at that. They're on there. Rio, not sure what Rio is. Um, TVL's kind of dropping though. 
Eh. It's leveling out. So is... Um, is there no stable swap on Kronos? Stable swaps are interesting for me. I, I don't... I get them, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously they make money. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see... Uh, let me uh, let me do something here. Let's see. Um, let's see what curve's looking at. So their TVL is five hundred. Are they listed as curve finance? They probably are. So curve's down too, actually two point two six. So yeah, I don't know. Might be fine. Um, Kronos, let's look at Kronos, because that Pharaoh's probably going to depend on Kronos, right? So, I mean, it's it's on the rise here, which is nice. Um, SD Cosmos SDK chain, by the way, right here. Gotta love it. Kind of a Cosmos Maxi in a way. I'm not really a Maxi. I just really like Cosmos. Pretty open to all projects. Um, but man, I I really do love them. Um, yeah, Kronos is doing great, actually. Um, down from their all-time high, but they're, on the last year, they're doing pretty good. So, still holding in the top 50. What are they, the 29? Yeah, so top 30 even right now. Um, if Kronos does well, I think Pharaoh will do well. Uh, but, they're not going to be as sexy as some other projects, you know. Maybe a Dex, or, well, maybe not right now with Uniswap getting the SEC suit, but, um... Yeah, maybe. So. Hard to say on those. Not really in the narratives. They're not in the AI. They're not in the um, D-Pin. They're not RWA. But, I mean, RWA is going to be using stable coin. I don't know. It's hard to say on that one. But might do okay. Uh, pro probably not one I'd, I'd grab, though. But I've missed other uh, coins that did really well, too, just because I didn't like them. Just looking at a couple more from chat before I get out of here. Maple? What are these? Where'd you find these? You find these on some like Uniswap's most wanted list or something? Oh, verified circulating supply at least. Uh, how big are you? F top 500? That's not a bad chart, honestly. Oh, Maple? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've Oh, what is Maple? I just looked at Maple not too long ago. Yeah, okay. Okay. Digital asset. Okay. So it's a lending. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Why did I see this? Maybe I was... I think I almost put this in maybe the real world asset one and then I, I didn't think it quite fit. I can't remember, but I, I was looking at this. These guys might do okay. Um, there's a, the thing is there's a lot of lending plays out there and I'm not sure what made them different um, maybe their APY or something so, so if I can figure out what makes them different I could probably say that they're worth something or not um, Alliance Block Next Era I don't know what this one is Look, you found some that are moving that's for sure Oh, okay. Oh, I haven't seen these guys. So what are they, are they like, is this like Anchor where they build nodes? Or spin up nodes for people? Uh, what do you do though? I see a lot of catchphrases, DeFi, Web3. Uh, Okay, so do they just kind of set up networks for you? I mean, maybe. Maybe. I could I could maybe see that. What are they, rank 3, 4? That's not bad. They're up there. So they've got some backers, right? I'm not going to hop into all that right now, but um, I might check them out afterwards. Well, probably tomorrow. It's, it's 11 o'clock here at night. Um, 
Let's look at their Twitter real quick. What did I have to? Um, oh, they're formerly Alliance. Okay. I was, see, that's a really stupid name to have like three words. So Nexera Foundation. I mean, that, I guess that sounds cooler, right? 1200 following. No posts? Except a repost? No blue check? That's kind of weird. I don't know. I, I'd, I'd really have to dive into these guys because I, I don't know much about them. So, not to say that they won't pump though. Um, the shittiest of shit coins pump, right? Uh, meme coins pump too. For whatever that's worth. Okay, been around for a while. This one. What the hell are they? The future of private equity. Is this more RWA? Oh, they're dropping Bloomberg. You know what? I think, is this a, on Binance? I, I didn't look where they were traded, those ones. That does matter. Uh, Uniswap. Coogee. I don't see that too often. Is really a... No, they're not. What is this traded on? Uh, Ethereum? Only Ethereum? Hmm. Well, I guess they're on Ethereum. Um, I man, they've, they that's a good rise though, right there. Was that six and a half x, right? Looks like they've got some some big names behind them. Um, I'd have to see who. I'd have to look into these guys. This will probably take me a long time. Well, more more time than I'm going to spend on the video anyway. Yeah, maybe though. I, th I want to say I'd look these guys up when I, w I was doing real world stuff. I, I didn't do the deepest dive on it. I just looked at some of the majors. Um, but yeah, real world assets. Yeah, I don't know. I have to check them out. Shop? I got a shop? <laughs> you can buy a shirt. Products, districts, custody, blog. Yeah, I'll check these guys out later. Hopefully, them and Gary, if I remember right. So, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna end it here, guys. I'm pretty tired. Probably like saying the same thing twice because I forgot what I've said already. That's how tired I am. Um, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, hopefully, you guys saw some coins you liked. Uh, feel a little bit better about the crypto market. Maybe you're gonna DCA in here. Maybe tonight. Maybe right now. Uh, maybe you don't. But anyway, I think we're in a good spot. Um, overall in the crypto market it's just the the macro factors are really getting us let's, let's look at before we do leave let's look at where bitcoin is and everything right now so we've actually got a little bit of a bounce for bitcoin on the hour it's up about a half percent yeah look at that we've got some green showing up again bnb is actually moving um is anybody in the top 100 first uh these are all stable coins i think that's that should be a stable coin oh the leo token's up congrats on the only green so um anyway if you guys hadn't please hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh subscribe if you want more content like this i usually do airdrops uh, meme coins nfts uh I try to do a live stream like i said news live stream also do non live stream news videos uh trying to do short ones too so people can just get little bits of information here and there and not have to watch the whole thing and, and search for what they want so um, but definitely, definitely going to be doing more altcoin and trying to stay ahead of the narratives that come out for you guys and, and for myself too. It keeps me, keeps me in the know. So I'm out of here. Good chatting with you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.